to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. And tonight, we have a highly requested beer. This is Bell's Two Hearted Ale. It's got fish on the can, on the bottle. It's 7% alcohol by volume. And if you look on the back, it says it has a shelf life. Yeah, this You one, may keep this for six months. Well, actually, this was produced six months ago. Yeah. So it's not quite six months. This was produced at 12 9, so it's still good for three more months. Yeah. It has, it has the shelf life, and then directly underneath the shelf life, it says when it was made. So you don't have to guesstimate. You just go to your your beer pantry, if you're uh, insanely is, yeah. wealthy, and you, uh, and you check and make sure your dates are correct. This is an American-style IPA. Or you have uh, Alfred look for you. By Bell's Brewing Company. <clears throat> uh, doesn't say the uh, IBUs on here, which is cool. Uh, very requested beer, very popular beer. It says on the back, brewed with 100% Centennial hops, Bell's American IPA is named for its majestic Two Heart River in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, bursting with hop aroma ranging from pine, grapefruit, and perfectly balanced with malt back tones. This beer is well suited for the adventures of everyone. More importantly than anything we just said, read directly off the back of the bottle, is that it has fish on it. Already, I like it. It smells very floral. We're gonna find out if it's actually good. But uh, I like it already because Color, fish. Yours is much cloudier than mine. That's because you got the yeah, bottom. You, you gave me the bottom. Uh, there was a ton of sediment in this, and we talked earlier and agreed that I would have the bottom because <laughs> that's where all the goodness is. I do get some citrus fruit in here. I don't know if I can get grapefruit on the nose. I get pine. It's very flowery, like very floral. Ooh. Oh yeah. Um, that's that's thick. I get a little grapefruit up front. This is a good beer, by the way. Yeah. Get a little grapefruit up front. <clears throat> a little pineiness, but it's very um, it's very floral, like very flowery. More flowery than I expected it to be. So you need some bottom in yours, because I feel like the sediment is making mine. It's almost honey-like. Like, get you some of the what's left in here. I'm you good. Should, you should try that. I'm not a sediment guy. Oh, it's it's almost honey. Uh, <laughs> that was a lot. Nah, you just shook it up first. It'll all surge away. But it tastes like with with most of the sediment down here, it tastes like um, it tastes like a beer with uh, with honey and it's really bready. I don't. I wouldn't even know that this was an IPA, honestly. Like just drinking this, I wouldn't be able to call it. Um, I can tell it's an IPA. It's it's hot forward, but it's not really hot forward. It also has a nice malty finish, which I can see that would deter people from some IPAs. They're kind of sharp. They have sharp finishes. This one, nice hoppy up front. Um, it's very good. It's it's got the perfect balance of sweetness to the hoppiness and maltiness. It's it's mm -hmm. very well balanced for an IPA. Oh, that's good. Bell, uh, good job, Bell. I shall give you. Um, this is a nine. This is a nine IPA for sure. Um, I have no problem with giving this a nine. This is about. This runs about eleven bucks for a six pack. Not terrible. Yep. That's reasonable for a craft beer. Um, Bell's really don't see too many different Bell's beers here. A two hard L we've always seen here. Yeah, yeah. But we That's never everywhere. see. And I felt like we did it at one point in our YouTube career, but I don't freaking know. I don't so. think so because. I've wanted to try too hard, but I've just never gotten around to it. So, what do you think, Radar? I also, I, you know, I think it's also a nine. Uh, I kind of want to know what the uh, what it tastes like with bottom and top at the same time. Just like pour it into a single glass. I'll take it. I'll I'll, I'll consume that. Uh, it's it's. Mmm, that's good. It tastes about the same. Does it's it? just a little sweeter. Yeah, yeah. it's very sweet. Uh, I think it's perfect. Uh, it's exactly what I want. And at $11, I can go and I can get um, Samuel Adams uh, Rebel. They changed their Rebel recipe, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. They've I haven't had, had their new recipe. They, they keep saying, we've changed our recipe. I'm like, oh, that's, that's cool. Very proud of you, Samuel Adams. <laughs> but uh, I can go and get that. And it's a uh, nine and some change for a six pack. Or I can get a six pack of this, and it's eleven. And I, honestly, I think the price difference is totally justifiable. I'd buy this all day. Would you recommend it? Yes. 
I would obviously Most recommend it as definitely. well. Definitely. Now, um, what did the Red Beer Beer Advocate give it? Uh, Beer Advocate, BA, gave it a 95. The Bros gave it a 90. So, uh, on par with what we gave it. Yeah, it's, it's, they, they agree. It's generally a, a, a good beer. Oh, this, oh, okay, that's out of five. 4.12 out of five, yeah. Uh, it's got good reviews. Looks like, there. oh, this guy didn't like it at all. The three's good. Yeah. Either way, that's, that's slightly above average. Anyway, doesn't matter. If, uh, you're, if you're wanting, uh, if you're wanting to get into IPAs, um, and you've had a few already, this would be a good way to transition from the session IPAs to a slightly oh, yeah. beefier. This one. is a, this is a very uh, robust beer. Yeah. It's probably uh, got quite a few calories in it. I would have to say. I don't care. I'm going to finish it because it's good. All right. Well, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see in our channel, you can leave a comment down there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for watching. For watching.